What's up? Winchell here. Going to do another quick tutorial. Um, this one's kind of a, a real good one, actually, uh, for a lot of beginners. Basically, I'm going to teach you how to import a file into Cubebase, either it be a beat or a song you're working on with somebody, or you know, just something that you want to work on, and you want to export the files separately out to a engineer to have him mix it down or to add to it or whatever. Um, so basically you'll uh, you'll have Cubebase open and you're going to want to open and find your file. Now I've just got a beat here. I'm just going to grab whoa, I'm just going to grab it, drag it into Cubebase and drop it at the beginning of the the song. So now you've got the beat imported here starting at 1 and you're going to want to find the tempo with this beat so that way uh, once you get effects added to it it will be on time so you go up to project tempo detection hit analyze and it will search the beat and find the actual tempo for you so you don't have to try and figure it out yourself uh, it takes a minute usually and good so now you've got the tempo set. Continue. I hit the selection key here and I'm basically going to take this marker out. This is the selection marker. Anytime you use this, um, you want it to go the length of your song. And basically that means once you export this out to a final track, this is where the song ends. That's where the song starts. So now you've got your tempo already laid out and it knows it. So if you hit play, it's right on time tempo wise so now if you add your vocal track in here and you record something real quick pretend I'm recording a vocal track here and then anyway you've got your vocal track recorded let's say and let's say you've got duplicates you got triplicates you got three vocal tracks and you've got the sound you're looking for and now you want to export it out so that way uh, audio engineer could mix it down himself um, you're basically gonna go to file export audio mix down and up here there's something called channel batch export and right now it's just not turned on it's set to stereo out which basically means when I export this track out it's gonna be just the main stereo output of the final track and uh, you're not going to want that. You're actually going to want to turn channel batch export on and you're going to want to choose the three tracks or two tracks or whatever I got. Main vocal, so main vocal right here then I got copy, copy and let's say those, once you name them they'll show up here and all you want to do is export those three tracks, four tracks, six, whatever you got just those tracks and mp3 is okay but you'd probably want to use a wave file if you're gonna have a mastering engineer do it um, so that way it's the best sound quality available I mean you could use FLAC or AIF which are pretty good low uh, low file size for a, a good sound um, but I'm just gonna leave it as mp3 for right now um, and once you export these as mp3 it'll show up in whatever folder you choose choose a folder and drop it in there and name it and it will name them each after these corresponding names into a folder and then you just take that folder you know uh, you can uh, compress it down to a zip file and export it to uh, an email possibly I don't think it'll fit unless it's mp3 um, if you go with a WAV file you're probably gonna have to either put it onto a CD and send it to them in the mail or you can upload it to a file server somewhere and just have them use a link to get to it um, but that's a very good way to send files between friends and allow them to actually mix it down themselves once they get it because a lot of times you record at different places and it doesn't quite sound the same but if you have everybody record and then take all those files to one single guy 
he can actually uh, mix them down himself or you know find one of the three guys that recorded for him to to mix it down for you and you'll have a pretty consistent sound if he's decent um, but yep yeah, that's my uh, tip of the day enjoy peace <laughs>